Excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry. We're not selling tea for another two hours. Can I help you? I'm Grace Wainwright. <coughs> oh, oh, golly, uh, uh, Councillor Mrs. Wainwright. That's right. Oh, oh, golly. Um, uh, uh, has nobody met you? No, I, I saw one or two people outside, but they seemed rather busy. Yes, uh, I'm afraid we're a bit behind hand. Yes, well, in the letter I got from uh, Mr. Goss, 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 Fred, Goss, uh, Goss, Goss Ford, yes. Yes, yes, it said 2.15. Oh, oh, right, well, uh, he should be around here uh, somewhere. Uh, I'm Millie Carter. Oh, how do you do? It's so nice of you to come. Uh, it's for a jolly good cause. Yes, indeed. I mean, it's just what this place needs, a new village hall. Mm -hmm. uh, did you pass the old one on the way here? Oh, was that the um the older building on the? Uh, uh, yes, yes, just down the lane there. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, frankly, it's an eyesore. Uh, it was uh, put up during the war, all corrugated iron. Uh, yes, uh, if you have a meeting there and it rains, you might as well save your breath. Yes, I must say the weather looked rather threatening today. Oh, oh yes, uh, I do hope it doesn't rain. It would just ruin Mr. Stokes' Wolf Cubs PT display, uh, among other things. Oh, but those are uh, wolf cubs I saw out there, all those little boys in their gym vests. Yes, yes, uh, were they behaving themselves? They were throwing stones at a caravan. I told them to stop. Oh, oh, Lord, uh, good for you. They would take a blind bit of notice of all little horrors, every one of them. Keep off there, you boys. Oh, Mr. Gosford's here. Will you wolf cubs get down off that scaffolding at once? This is your last warning. A pack of little vandals swarming all over it, like, ah. Uh, uh, Mr. Gosford, <coughs> Councillor Mrs. Wainwright. Oh, good lord, hello. How do you do? Uh, Gordon Gosford, uh, so nice of you to come. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to greet you in person. I've been having a bit of a guy rope crisis. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, well, we only opened both of these, uh, we rented both of these tents, you see. Uh, only opened them up today. But when we do, we find that half the guy ropes are missing off the main marquee. Oh. I had to do an emergency job. But there's not a window left in the district with any sash cord. Well, the plan is as follows. Uh, we plan to kick off at 2.30. Uh, I'll give you a short introduction. Then as soon as you've finished, up strikes the band. Uh, we've got them coming in from Hadford. Oh, we should be in now. Where are they? Anyway, uh, then you can mingle about for a bit. Have a go at bowling for the pig. Uh, I've just seen Fred Craig's trailer arrive, so the pigs arrive safely, thank God. Uh, then at 3.30, we've got the Wolf Cubs PT display organised by Stuart Stokes. That should run for about half an hour. Uh, then at 4 p.m. we've got tea, courtesy of Millie Carter and assorted ladies. At uh, 4.30 we've got our novelty races, father's race, mother's race, three-legged grandfather's race, all that sort of nonsense. Uh, then at 5.30 we round things off with a community sing-song with the Hadforth band. Has the Reverend managed to get the song sheets printed off? Ten pounds to a quid she hasn't. Uh, anyway, uh, at 6 o'clock, all pack away. Uh, at 7.30, tents dismantled, all packed away, because old Swales wants his field back for his cows first thing in the morning. We can save some other fun. Yes. I'm sure you'll want to. <laughs> uh, Millie, where's that blasted man Fairchild? Um, <coughs> he said he'd be back. He had to go on a call. Well, he'd better be back. Not a solitary thing is working. He's got all the lighting rigged up and the sound. All the wires running down, microphone, amplifier there, loudspeakers, the lot. The only trouble is, not a bloody thing is working. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. But if he hasn't got it fixed by the time you come to make your speech, no one hear a word you're saying. Here are some of the prizes for the races today. Uh, half a dozen bottles of sherry. Bunches of running a pub. Ready-made prizes always to hand. Yes, indeed. Oh, Reverend, excuse me. Uh, Reverend, over here. Hello there. <laughs> oh, bad news, I'm afraid, Gospel. What's happened? I've finally been let down on the song sheets, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, God help us. Oh, pardon my language. Uh, all right, um, delete community singing, uh, insert community humming. <laughs> community humming, I like that. Oh, <laughs> oh I beg your pardon. Oh, uh, Councilman Mrs. Wayne, right? Uh, this is Susan Braithwaite, our vicar. How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you, nice of you to turn out. Uh, Susan, oh, why don't you show Councilman Mrs. Wayne, right, the lie of the land? Uh, take her for a turn around the tombola. Mm, delighted, of course. 
Uh, now, if, excuse me, I'll have to pitch in on this public address system. Yes, of course. Would you follow me, Mr. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, indeed. And Susan, mm. would you tell those confounded wolf cubs to come down off that scaffold? <laughs> it was only built for loudspeakers, you know. Oh, I will, I will. <laughs> now then, how's my little Millie? All right. I think all right. Uh, old Mr. Durham will be here with a tea urn in just a minute. Oh, splendid. Now then. Mark at that. Now then, uh, where do we get started with this thing? Well, the amplifier seems to be working. The light's on, at least. Gordon? Uh, in a minute, Logan. Uh, I think I'd better start around the business end. There must be a loose connection somewhere, that's all it can be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, hello? Gordon, have you a minute, please? And where's that damn fiancé of yours got to? I don't know. Well, he's never around when you need him. I wish he'd stick around. Those wolf cubs of his are running amok. Gordon, have you got a minute, please? Darling girls, it looks as if I've got a minute. It's frightfully urgent. All right then, go ahead, I'll keep fiddling. Well... Uh-huh. It's really rather awful. It does seem terribly, as if perhaps I might be pregnant. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Did you say pregnant? I'm frightfully sorry. Me? There's no one else it could have been, Gordon. Oh my god. I'm awfully sorry. What are we going to do? Well... What do I say to Stuart? <laughs> oh. He'll be dreadfully upset. Yes, I, I can see that he might, yes. He might refuse to marry me. Yes, I, I can see that he might, yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, he's a good chap, isn't he? He's a scout after all. <laughs> now, Millie, you mustn't worry about this. But first things first, we need to sort everything out today. We'll talk about this tomorrow, you see? What's Stuart going to say? What's he going to do when he finds out? Everyone knows we're engaged. How's he going to face his cubs? Now, 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 Millie, you mustn't worry. Just let's handle this first things first. Now, if you run along and organise that tea, then I'll see if I can get this wretched thing to a... One, two, three, four... Ah, success! It's working! I don't know what I did with it, but I... How long has it been on for? <laughs> Uh, very good point. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is live. Then turn it off, you coward! Turn it off! I don't know how to turn it off. God! Haven't you done enough? Do you know what it feels like to be told that your fiancé is pregnant with another man's child? It's not enough for you, is it? No, you are to announce it publicly in front of, in front of four acres of field. In front of my wolf cubs. <laughs> I say, Stuart, I'm sorry. There are brownies out there, for God's sake! <laughs> this thing is alive, Stuart! This thing is alive! Then turn it off! Turn it off! Steady, steady! Minute, this thing is still on! Turn Wait. it off, will you? Turn it off! Wait! Uh, oh, God, uh, stop it! Stop it! Uh, uh, it's off now! It's off! Oh, thank God. <coughs> Stuart, we'll have to talk about this later. I do not want to talk about this later! <laughs> don't want to talk about it at all! Stuart, please. It's no help to anyone getting an estate. She's quite right, Stuart, old boy. She's quite right. Four acres. Four <laughs> acres. Stay on, stay on. We'll sort this out, I promise. <coughs> oh, Millie, uh, how about you crack open one of those bottles of mine? Get this poor man a glass of sherry. <coughs> I don't drink. 
<laughs> you know why I don't drink? Well, you're in need of one now. <laughs> Millie. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> yes, Vicar. Were you aware that your uh, uh, ill tidings were being broadcast abroad? Yes. Yes, uh, thank you, Susan. We were aware. I see. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Susan. Thank you. <laughs> now then, that seems to be one of those drinks. Right. Right, yeah. so here we are. Drink up, old boy. Drink up. Look at all that rain. <laughs> oh, look at it. Nobody will come, and those that are here are going to go home. Oh, not to worry. Uh, I'll try and raise their morale somehow. Try and keep them here. Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is only a short shower. Uh, please feel free to shelter in the main marquee. Uh, I repeat, this is only a short shower. I don't think that convinced me. <coughs> oh heavens! What? I left my biscuits in the back! Don't <laughs> <laughs> drink too much of that, Stokes, if you're not used to it. Go to hell, Gosford, you swine! <laughs> <laughs> your, uh, your display's getting a little damp out there. Need any help to drag it in? Go to hell, Gosford, you, you fascist! <laughs> Right, no, I'll, I'll drag it in. <laughs> oh, you save them just in time. Could you give me a hand, Stuart? <laughs> oh well. Don't then. Display's ruined, I'm afraid, old boy. I've seen rain like that out there. Not soon. That lucky dipped off like a water bottle already. Oh, come on, Stokes. Stop sitting there feeling so sorry for yourself, Stokes. Chin up. Go to hell, Gosford. Uh, could one of you give a hand to old Mr. Darden? Uh, he seems to have got bogged down in the mud by the gate. Uh, he's stuck. <coughs> oh, I'll go. Maybe he's expecting our Boy Scout to do anything. Oh, Stuart. Honestly, just sitting there, leaving poor old Mr. Dermot to cope. He's over 70, you know. And your, your wolf gloves are throwing mud at each other. I wish you'd control them. They should be getting shelter. Oh, well. Don't blame me when they all go down with pneumonia. Why did you do it, Lily? What? A man like, like Gosforth, that fascist! <laughs> Don't bring politics into this, for goodness sake! Why did you do it, Billy? Well... It was while you were at the Scout Jamboree. Oh, God! <laughs> Gordon was... I went off to the, to the pub to go get some brandy for my mother. She thought she had a cold coming on. Go on. Gordon was there, behind the bar, as usual. He got you drunk! No, not very, anyway. Not as drunk as you'll get, but keep on going at that the way oh, you are. Typical! He got you drunk and then, and then took advantage of you! Do you want to know what's happened or not? No. Yes, I, I don't know. Anyway, it was getting late and he closed up the bar and we sat in there talking. <coughs> he told me about his ex-wife and I talked to him about you. <coughs> about me? 
talk to him about me, about us? Yes. How could you tell a man like that about us? What's gotten into you, Millie? I don't know. I'm, I've grown up, I think. I'm 34, pregnant, with a man I, I don't much care for, and, and I've grown up. <coughs> and not before. Bloody hell! Millie, that's not true. I don't much care for him. And I don't want to see him again. Well, I don't want him the T4 a little bit. Uh, can you manage that, Millie? Yes, I think so. Right. Where the hell's that bloody Hadworth band got to? They were supposed to be here half an hour ago. Right, okay, revised schedule. Uh, opening address by Councillor Wainwright. In the rain? Yes, well, she can just shelter in the entrance here. Even if they can't see her, they'll be able to hear her. Then, when she's finished, tea and pray that this lot passes over. I think we'll have to scratch the gym, the gym display as well. Don't reckon our instructor's up to it. Go to blazes, gospel! And to you, old boy. Now then. Where the devil is she? Who? Councillor Wainwright! Where is she? What have you done with her, Vicar? Councillor Wainwright, kindly report to the tea tent, please. That's Councillor Wainwright. Thank you. She can't go far. Uh, I'll go see if I can find her. <laughs> Alright then. Let's get moving. Do we have everything settled here? <coughs> well, where has she got to? Stuart, uh, move up the way, please. Uh, Millie, can you sort out that boyfriend of yours? I'm not a boyfriend! He's not my boyfriend. No sight or sound, if I'm afraid. Well, where the hell has she got to? She can't well have vanished into thin air. Oh! <laughs> oh, Councillor Mrs. Wainwright! Good heavens! Are you alright? Please, oh, take a seat! I found that church of yours. I, I thought I'd, uh, oh, I'd go and take a look and... <laughs> 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 
Stand well clear of the first aid staff. 